This is the day flight stopped being a trick and became real. On this day, December 31st, 1908, Wilbur Wright completed the first airplane flight lasting more than two hours near Alvarez, France. He flew the Wright Flyer for two hours, 20 minutes, and 23 seconds, winning the Michelin Cup and setting a new endurance record for powered flight. At the time, it was the longest sustained airplane flight ever achieved. More importantly, it proved airplanes were no longer short hop experiments. They could stay airborne, they could navigate, they could operate continuously. That changed everything. Once aircraft could remain in the air for hours, they became tools of reconnaissance, platforms for strike, patrol assets over wide areas, and eventually threats that required defense. Air defense only becomes necessary when air power can reach far, stay long, and return. This flight laid the groundwork for long-range patrol aircraft, strategic bombing, and controlled airspace, which in turn drove the need for radar, early warning, interceptors, and anti-aircraft artillery. December 31st, 1908 marked the moment aviation crossed from novelty to operational reality. On the last day of 1908, Flight proved it could endure, and the sky became something worth defending.